Hello and welcome back to Colonial Airstream. I'm Patrick Botticelli and we are at the Next Adventure sales event here at our dealership February 18th, 2023. The event runs from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. and uh, we had a great turnout yesterday at our dealership. We're in Millstone Township, New Jersey. The telephone number to the dealership is 800-265-9019. You can visit us on the web at colonialairstream.com. So I'm going to take you around today and show you, give you a little bit of tour of some of the Airstreams we have here, as well as some of the Winnebago's. Uh, we'll actually start right over here. On display here we have a Winnebago Travato. This is their 59K model, very popular model, built on the Ram Promaster chassis. This is their 159 extended platform, rooftop full of solar. And uh, if you come around back here, this one has a rear bathroom. It's pretty cool. You got a very open floor plan up front, and this bathroom shower is completely out of the way. Above the toilet, you got a little sink area here that flips out. A little medicine cabinet. Wardrobes over here. And then the shower curtain completely encloses this area, so nothing gets wet back here. Has a roll down insect screen in the back. Look at these insulated shades here. Uh, these are really nice for privacy and for better insulation. LED lights in the awning, large sliding door. Look how low this van is to the ground. Because it's a front wheel drive vehicle, there's no drive shaft tunnel, so we can keep these really low. Large running boards throughout, vinyl flooring, grand handle to get in, another roll down screen. Check this out, this has a magnet on it, so like, you can zip it down, but if you want to zip inside, you just undo the magnet. Electrical outlet over here. Swivel table, driver passenger, swivel chair, storage below the floor, all of best in class, Ram Promaster features, center galley kitchen, and this is their KL model. The L is for their lithium upgrades. This has the volt system, 48 volt battery system, so this completely runs off of lithium battery for the camping part with no propane on board. Induction cooktop, convection microwave, Nova pool refrigerator with freezer, lots of drawer storage, wherever they can put it. Solid surface countertops, this is sink covered. Decent sized sink here. Max fan in the ceiling, Coleman mock air conditioner, two twin beds. The beds lift up for additional storage. And these convert together and make into approximately a queen size bed. Televisions on a swivel, upper roof locker storage on both sides, and that table can actually go over here. Now we have some giveaways here. So anybody that shows up, they scan in, and uh, we have uh, some gifts that we're giving away. And uh, that, uh, and uh, well, we're going to announce that on the 20th. Over here, Okay, this is a new model. Now, I know you guys are always used to seeing me with uh, the Airstream, but I also love Winnebago's. This is a new model. This is the Sunstar Glacier Edition. This is the National Park Foundation. This is the Sand. What's neat about this, it has a, a better departure angle. It's all blacked out, so instead of like chrome that a lot of motorhomes have, it's got powder coated black rims. Outside kitchen over here, you can see the National Park Foundation sticker here. Storage, you got a sink, you got some drawers, a little hot point refrigerator. And then this is the Alu Cab awning. This comes all the way around and covers this area. So if you're really into outside grilling and camping, you have some more coverage. It does have a power awning up top here. Outside entertainment. Basement storage over here. Even has a spot that you can put your pet leash if you're hanging out and you want to tie your pets to it. Come on inside. MSRP is $232,175. Black seats inside. This is the Ford chassis. It's got a gasoline engine. It's got a workstation that pulls out over here. These chairs both swivel and there's a table that assembles in the middle. 
This is a power loft bed. You hit the button, this thing comes down. You can sleep two more people. Look at all that visibility you have here. This panoramic view up front. These sofas here, very comfortable. USB charge ports in the side. Put your drink over here. This flips up so you can get three people to sit there. Dining table, this also folds down and makes it to a bed. Huge television over here. Ducted air conditioning on board. Galley kitchen here with a double sink, pull-out faucet, solid surface. Lots of drawer storage throughout. Now they really do a great job. Air, Airstream and Winnebago, very impressive. The two manufacturers do excellent job. Vinyl flooring throughout, very easy to sweep out and clean out. All the system controls are all touch screen up here. You got a, a microwave that's at a low. I like how it's low. Some are really, really high. Three burner gas cooktop. This even has a gas oven. Compressive style refrigerator by no, um, sorry, Norcold. And that runs off of battery and solar. A little pantry over here. Swing this thing around. Look at this. You can hang your clothes in the back of the door. I'm going to want one of these at my house. Over here is the toilet area, plenty of room in here, china bowl, storage below, lots of storage up top, another fan, and this shower, check this thing out, oops, I just hit the lights, this is pretty big, it's even got a skylight, I'm 5'9", plenty of headroom in here, plenty of volume in here, in the back we got a queen size bed, there's a walk around and you can lift it up, Traditional storage, you got a ladder to get into the loft bed. And uh, cool detail at the head of the bed. Uh, I haven't seen anything like that recently. More wardrobe storage, you got a little station over here, television, more here. And uh, Winnebago, these have a fiberglass roof. So it's an upgrade over the standard industry, which will have a little on piece of wood, glued the styrofoam with a piece of rubber stretched over. Fiberglass is going to last you a lot longer. <laughs> Over here, we got one of my favorites, probably one of the hardest motorhomes to get right now. This is the Winnebago Echo. This is built on the Ford Transit platform, their 3500 series cutaway, all-wheel drive, and it's more seasoned. Look how thick these doors are. It's got all uh, little racks here so you can hang up all your gear. I like it because I'm into cycling, and bikes can get pretty expensive, and instead of storing it outdoors on a bike rack, and out in the element and in the eyes of someone who wants to seal it, you can actually load bikes in here. You can put two nice road bikes or mountain bikes in here or e-bikes. But look how thick the doors are. The whole idea with this is it's four season capable. It even has a little domestic refrigerator outside, two burner gas cooktop, whole awning, three door detached from the main door. Very sturdy. It like, reminds me of an airstream door. Inside, we have another uh, swivel table here and uh, passenger swivel base entertainment center over here. On this side, you have a dinette table and regular seats instead of like a bench with cushions, you have regular seats for your passengers. You can sit two adults here, it's like sitting on an airplane. You got screens and shades, dual pane windows, USB charge ports. You got a little track you can hang certain things on. Overhead roof locker storage over here. And uh, check this out, red. Pretty sharp looking. You know, most RVs are very neutral, like gray and brown. Uh, I like how they have that accent. This has a two burner gas cooktop, plenty of uh, kitchen storage throughout. And over here, you got a little pantry area with shelves that are removable. Plenty of headroom in this one as well. Microwaves over here. Got a skinny little fridge. This is nice. It's so tall, but it's really skinny, so it fits well in the space. And plenty of room inside here. It's got a freezer up top. One of my favorite features is this bathroom. Check this thing out. Open the door. You got a toilet area. It's a set top style toilet. It's on a swivel. You got a window in here and a sink. When it's time to shower, you pull this. This whole wall goes over, and now you just have a shower area. Your toilet and everything else is dry over here. Pull the shower curtain all the way around, and this is your compartment. When you're done showering, pull the wall over here, 
and now you just got a bathroom. Genius. Back here, we have you step up here, you got storage below, you got two twin beds, which is perfect, they're easy to get in and out. But if you would like to, this whole thing converts into a queen size bed. You got two windows back here, air rooftop air conditioning on board, and uh Check this out. This has an MSRP of 196 126 Winnebago Rebel. I really know there's a lot of people know about the Winnebago Rebel. This is a very popular motorhome for Winnebago. This is built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 144-inch wheelbase chassis. It's four-wheel drive. It's 19 feet long. And uh, awning up top, roof rack with uh, solar panels. Full running board over here. This table clips down, additional storage, roll down insect screen, durable rubber floor in here. That had like woven vinyl in the last one. This has rubber. Driver passenger swivel chairs, ram mount, ram handle, Nova Cool fridge over here, tables on a swivel, bench lifts up, there's some storage below. Over to cab area, all the best in class Mercedes Benz features on board. All the system controls right here. Three point shoulder harness, max air fan up top. Check this bathroom out. It's a toilet and shower combined. And then there's shelves here, which you could stack and put on these. So if you had like wet clothes, like wet suit, or you went skiing for the day, you could lay them in here and let them dry out. Now, it's disabled for the shelf, but you gotta take my word for it. This is really cool. You can press the buttons over here and lower this bed. It's a loft bed or elevator bed. But what's unique about it is like, you're not always sleeping, right? So you can hang out in this back area. You can load cargo back here. You can do a lot back here. I'm into mountain biking. I could imagine myself working on my bike back here. But you press the button, it comes down. You got a double bed, rooftop air conditioner up top. Let's walk around the showroom. There's my uh, desk area where Patrick sits. We have an Airstream shell. This is pretty cool. When we built this building and, and we moved in three years ago, this uh, Airstream was cut in half and made into a little store. We have some uh, cool Airstream branded hoodies here. Toys and uh, some die cast. I love this die cast. This is a 1961 Airstream Bambi, just like my Airstream Bambi 1961. And uh, some hats, like the colonial hats here, like the trucker hat. Some waffle mats, jewelry, more really cool shirts. Check this one out, all different sizes. Colonial Airstream mugs. And uh, if you want to have a good time in your airstream, you got a shot class uh, kit here. Got over here, I got Paul, one of our delivery coordinators, Alex, and uh, here's Connor. You guys might remember him from some of the videos. Connor showed up today. 20 foot base camp. This is the base camp 20 apps. It's got the heavy duty rock guards up front, solar solar goals, the guards over the glass. Large, look how big these tires are and mantle lifts. They're gonna give you more crime players. Inside, got durable vinyl flooring, composite floor below that, heated tanks, enclosed underbelly, full panoramic view up front. Table swivels around these. It also folds and makes it like that. We got racks up here for additional gear. Back here we got the Nova Cool refrigerator, compressor style with freezer, regular microwave, storage here, heated tanks, uh, switches here, 12 volt and USB. Over here is the wet bath, mirror so you can check yourself out. Fantastic fan, two burner gas. Hear that? That's thick. That is roll up privacy shades. You can just zip these up here. Then these windows pop out. Give you some ventilation. Rooftop air conditioning. More storage here and here. Back door kicks open. There's an insect screen. 
Two tables, they go at high height or low height if you want to use them a coffee table. Storage below this side, two twin beds, a double bed, or approximately king size bed back here. So you could flip it out and configure it all different ways depending on your wants and needs. Uh, let's go outside. We also have uh, available, we have three left for the model year, the REI edition. It's available on the 16 foot platform. And uh, we get it with the full lithium package, full solar, air conditioned, right there, fully loaded, that's the way uh, people want it. Look at this ground clearance on this. Look how much room we have underneath this trailer. Look at that departure angle as it goes up. This is for people that really want to go off the beaten path. And this cargo door here, how beautiful that is. On this side, we have the International. Uh, looks like that. There we go. Someone turned her down. Power awning, sunbrown material, screen door with screen door guards. MSRP is $145,700. Sorry if I missed some of the MSRPs on the ones that we passed. But uh, door shut like a bank vault. Beautiful handcrafted windows. LED light strip in the awning, heated tanks, and closed underbelly. You're going to see that on almost every Airstream that it's made. Uh, that would be all the travel trailers, the vans just have heated tanks that can't enclose underbelly and drive shaft exhaust. Back bumper storage, retractable insect screen. This has an optional rear hatch, it's a $7,500 upgrade. It allows you to load a lot of cargo in and out. Window warnings all the way around. Wireless backup camera. Check it out inside. We'll just give you a brief look at this one. Someone kicked the power cord out. Lounge here slides out into a bed. Table here folds down into a bed. Center galley kitchen. Solid surface countertop. Deep sink. And if you look all the way to the front, we got twin beds up there. And uh, compressive style fridge, wardrobe, bathroom, shower. And it has a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,600 pounds. Dry weight with options, 6,100 pounds. And uh, come on over here. Next, we have the Caravel 22FB. This is made for someone that has a mid-size SUV that has a maximum towing capacity of 5,000 pounds or more and has a hitch weight capacity of 600 pounds or more. Uh, this is 8 feet wide, 21 feet 8, 9 feet 9 inches tall. Single step here to get the back. Sealed hub assembly, never new hubs, never adjust brakes, screen door guards. So there's a lot of differences between a Caravelle and a Bandit, even though they share the same floor plan. It's not a $12,000 difference in, in price, but you get a lot of extra. This awning is a umbrella material, rear bumper storage, double tail lights, window awnings, beautiful handcrafted windows. Take a jump into this floor plan. Vinyl flooring throughout, composite deck flooring below. Dry erase board here, code hooks over here, dimmable LED lights, ducted 13,500 BTs, air conditioning with heat pump, fantastic fan here and here with rain sensors, motorized lids. T uh, the table slides out and swings around in different positions. This also folds down and makes into a bed. You can sleep two kids or one adult there. Double bed up front, bed lifts up for additional storage. You got that full panoramic view, USB charge outlets, so there, a 1,000 watt pure sine wave inverter, huge sink. This isn't a double sink, this is just a big sink. This also pulls out. You got porthole windows here with ocean air shades, stereo in the roof locker storage, storage below here with trash pail, three burner cooktop, cooktop ventilation, convection microwave storage here. Another refrigerator with uh, freezer on board, 12 volt compressor style. All the air conditioning controls are digitally controlled here. Television articulating arm. Back here is the bathroom. It's the whole back of the trailer. Toilet, porcelain toilet, tankless water heater on board. This also has 200 watts of solar on the roof. Vanity sink here and a big shower. 5'9". Get the idea of the size that's in here. Plenty of room. And it has a glass shower door. Boot storage, you kick your shoes off when you get inside, you can slide under the dinette there. 
Also, we have on display, it's quite busy in there now. It's so early in the morning, everybody came out and we're excited. There's going to be a lot of people here today. A lot of people buying. We actually have inventory now. We, we set aside inventory just for this event. So if you can't make it, you can actually call us. Everything's listed on our website. We have special incentives just for the show. So that's the Interstate 19 four-wheel drive. That's built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. 144-inch wheelbase platform. 2500 series Mercedes Blue Tech diesel engine. And uh, that comes with 200 amp hours of lithium batteries. And then we also have the E1 version of that, which eliminates propane, upgrades lithium capacity 12,000 watt hours. This here is the Airstream Interstate Grand Tour 24 GL. Built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 3500 series chassis, dual rear wheels, rear air suspension, Mercedes Blue Tech diesel engine, 3 liter, 180 horsepower, 325 foot pounds of torque. Power patio awning with seismic sensor, awning lights, ground effect lights, driver pass and control chairs. Over here, we got woven vinyl flooring throughout, insulated floor, heated tanks, solid surface countertop, single sink over here, two burner gas cooktop, and pretty cool slide out microwave here. But everything is touchscreen controlled, so you know, someone dimmed down these lights really, really dim, so we're gonna go to. There we go. Brighten them up for you guys. Fantastic fan. This is the pantry area. These things slide all the way out. Pretty cool. You take these shelves out and hang clothes, which nothing really does anymore. T TV on an articulating arm. All the system controls are up here. Nova Cool uh, freezer and refrigerator, 12 volt compressor style. The whole roof is completely full of solar. Look at this massive storage here. I mean, it just goes on and on. You got a trash pail. More roof locker storage all the way down. Rooftop air conditioner. And then you have your rear lounge area. That table in the front can go back here. You can see a whole bunch of people around. This has power shades, power rear insect screen. You can hang your shirts from here. Storage pockets while you're laying in bed with charge ports, cup holders. And you press a few buttons. This sofa folds flat. And you can use it as a U-shaped bed, or you can combine these and make it to almost a king-size bed on board. So let me uh, flip up these shades so you can see. Get up in the morning, you get dressed. You don't need that privacy anymore. These windows are all tinted. These kick out. These are awning-style windows for ventilation. And these get 18 miles per gallon. It's pretty impressive for... An 11,000 30 pound gross vehicle weight rating vehicle. So let me show you a few more things. These are beautiful showrooms. We've been here three years now. It, it's, it's amazing how fast time has flown by. But we built this for our customers so that have the best experience possible when it comes to service, coming to the showroom to look around, and for picking up your RV. We have a beautiful delivery area that customers will receive their training on their new Airstream or Winnebago. We give a lot of stuff that is included with the RV we demonstrate with you. And then we welcome all our customers to spend the evening at the dealership after they receive their training or orientation to try systems out before they hit the road and go back home. It's the best way to do it. It really is the best option. It's too much to try to do in one day. Over here, we have the coffee stream here, and uh, they come to all our events, and it's a mobile coffee lounge, and they're serving coffee to all our great guests here. But it's a, a 60s style Airstream, it's got a hatch, and they're, they're serving coffee. It all runs on lithium batteries, and uh, we're happy to see them. We also have an Airstream shell out there, that way, uh, we have one, a new one, that's completely gutted inside with a hatch, two doors, and an awning. That way, if you wanted to build your own coffee lounge or smoothie lounge, uh, we have one available. This is our uh, customer waiting area. This is where customers that come in, they can hang out, chill out. We've got fireplace over here, big TV from the watch, lots of windows. It's not like a dark hallway. And uh, over here is our cafe area. 
refreshments for our customers, an internet workstation area over here, and out back we have a dog park. A lot of our guests, they, they travel long distances to come to our dealership so they bring their pets. So we have accommodations for pet friendly in here. We also have a place for dogs to run around out back. I've been here, uh, you know, since day one with Airstream here, and we started a collection in 2002 of all, like, just cool, unique Airstream stuff. I have a massive collection at home that uh, we just couldn't put on display here at the dealership. This is some of our, our favorite stuff here, but uh, this, it's a cool brand that they're, they've been for over 90 years now. There's so much cool stuff out there. So uh, I would uh, hunt down eBay and uh, Facebook Marketplace and do some estate sales, and you're going to find some of this stuff out there. Welcome to our parks department. So we wanted it to look a little bit more appealing, appealing than just the uh, shelves and racks and uh, sore hoses and toilets. So it, it, it's more like essential type stuff that people can grab when they come in. Some more hats and apparel over here, more welcome mats. Some people buy an RV and they just don't have some of the stuff that they need. You know, so we, we had a cover, little covers here, surge protectors, power cords, more surge protectors, more welcome mats, chairs, a fire pit over here, pulverized so you can wax your airstream, tables and accessories, brake controllers over here, wheel shocks, leveling blocks, backup cameras. This is a uh, really cool gas stop. I just put on both my airstreams. So squirrels love to chew through propane lines. It happens. So what happens is uh, you just have propane gas just spewing out if you have a slice in your line. This will stop the flow of propane if it feels a drop in pressure quickly. And it's, it's, a, it's a safe, essential thing. I would recommend everybody putting one of these on your RV or airstream. We have wine yard, we have this dry breach, some washing stuff for your trailer. And it's like really cool stuff, like specialty stuff, like the, the block fuses we need when we do uh, big lithium jobs. Equalizers here today, and even Timberline, oh well, they build the diesel hydronic heating systems for Winnebago Rebel and for the Airstream Interstate to get the E1 package. We've got them here today, even the Airstream clubs here today. Got some coolers back here, grill. More essential stuff and beautiful parts of the world we have. And uh, we even have the Dometic fantastic fan that uh, a lot of people have on their airstreams. But we carry the Max fan as well. Come around and show you one more thing and we'll wrap this up. We hope you can make it today. Again, our telephone number, if you missed it in the beginning, is 1 800 265 9019. Our website is colonialairstream.com. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Colonial Airstream or Colonial RV. We have two different ones. We're also on TikTok for Colonial Airstream and RV. Facebook as well. We have a great YouTube channel for Colonial RV. This is the Colonial Airstream YouTube channel. But uh, we give a lot of service tips. So if you want to understand a winterizer RV, Tire safety, we have a lot of cars. There's Joe. You guys might recognize him. <clears throat> and uh, John, our parts manager, is here today. He uh, has the battle board battery display. We do a lot of lithium batteries here. I would say about 90% of the customers that purchase uh, an Airstream are doing the lithium battery upgrade. And we have a lot of our customers that have older Airstreams that are upgrading their systems for. Uh, lithium. We're also a lithionics dealer, so we have two different types of battery technology depending on the customer's wants and needs. We have some specials right now on the lithionics batteries. Over here is the Timberline LL display here. Uh, they came out to uh, support us through our show. And uh, we also have Equalizer today. And they have their Fastway products here on display. Equalizer hitch behind me. We exclusively sell. If it's an equalizer, it's going to be the original one. Uh, we don't stock the, the chain style or the E2 that they sell. We, we did a premium one. And uh, let me just show you. We have some giveaways. If you guys come in and scan the barcode uh, on February 20th, 2021. 
We got the Airstream Club here to watch home unit, and uh, they're going to tell you to come in a little bit about what the Airstream Club is and how important it is as an owner to join the Airstream Club. I'm a member myself, and I find great value in it. We have a gift basket over here, and we also have a pottery barn that's given away. <laughs> this whole kit. And then a giveaway that we're doing here is uh, also we have a special with Harvest Host for uh, people that are purchasing during the event that uh, we'll tell you about in September. Well, this is Patrick with Colonial Airstream, Millstone Township, New Jersey. I hope you enjoyed the tour of our next adventure event here, February 18, 2023, from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for joining us.